If you're looking for the best CPUs for a variety of budgets, then keep watching. So hey guys, this is Team Overclocked. In this video, I'm going to help you guys out by showing you the top 5 best CPUs for early 2018. Before I start, I would like to mention that links to everything I mentioned will be in the description, so check that out if you're interested. But without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. To start it off, we have the Intel Pentium G4560 for $75. This is a dual core chip that has hyperthreading, which gives it 4 threads. It also comes clocked at 3.5GHz and is not overclockable. When it comes to gaming, you will be able to play at 1080p at around 60fps without an issue. It can also do some light video editing at 1080p, which is good enough for people like small YouTubers. So for the budget PC builders out there, this is an excellent option from Intel. Now next up, we have the AMD R3 1200 for $100. This CPU comes clocked at 3.1GHz and has 4 full cores. Unlike the Pentium, this is fully unlocked so you can overclock it when paired with a compatible motherboard. The cooler that this comes with should also be able to let you pull off a mild overclock without an issue, which is going to be ideal for most people. When it comes to gaming, this should be able to handle 1080p 60fps gameplay without an issue and it can do some light 1440p gaming as well. When it comes to video editing, it should be able to edit at 1080p 60fps without an issue. All around, this is a great mid-range CPU for both gaming and editing. Next up, we have the AMD R5 1400 for $150. This is a nice processor that is kind of a big brother to the AMD R3 that I just showed you guys. Now, this CPU comes clocked at 3.2GHz and is also overclockable. It also is a quad-core, but this time, it has simultaneous multi-threading, which gives the user 8 threads to work off of. These extra threads are going to be extremely useful for people like video editors because with the CPU you'll be able to edit at resolutions like 1440p without an issue. In gaming, this will once again be able to handle games at 1080p 60fps and it should also be good for some solid 1440p gaming as well. This is an insane value for all kinds of users. Next up, we have the Intel i5-7600K for $215. This is going to give you close to the best gaming performance on the market. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't I go with the newer i5-8600K? Well, currently, the newer i5 is about $50 more, and the Z370 motherboards that go with the newer i5, they cost a lot more than the current Z270 motherboards out there. So the 8600K isn't as good of a value as the 7600K right now. But anyways, the 7600K has 4 cores and comes clocked at 3.8GHz out of the box. Overclocking is where the CPU really shines. This CPU can easily hit 4.8 or 4.9GHz without an issue. This combination of a high frequency when overclocked and 4 solid cores lets it blaze through games at 1080p 60fps and even 1440p 60fps. In resolutions past 1440p, you might encounter some stutters in CPU heavy games, but it shouldn't be a big issue. Video editing is great as well on the CPU, and it should perform about the same as the Ryzen 5. This is going to provide nearly top of the line gaming performance for a much more consumer friendly price. Last but definitely not least, we have the Ryzen 7 1700 for $290. Now this is a monster. It comes with 8 cores and 16 threads clocked at 3GHz as a base clock and a boost clock of 3.7GHz. It's also overclockable and comes with an LED cooler in the box which should be good enough to push an overclock of 3.7GHz or higher on all cores. Now since this has 16 threads, editing is going to be a breeze on this. You can do 4K editing on this with few issues and you can do some pretty decent live streaming as well. In gaming, this should be able to handle games at up to 4K 60fps. However, in lower resolutions like 1080p or 1440p, the i5-7600K will probably come ahead a little bit but it's not going to be too big of a gap. All things considered, this is a beast of CPU that will satisfy even the most elite members of the PC Master Race. So before I end the video, I'd like to mention that there are links to everything in the description, so make sure you check those out if you're interested in any of these CPUs. 
But yeah guys, that's all for today. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, please dislike the video and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.